OPEC set to meet tomorrow to discuss its monthly oil output. Oil finishing up more than 55 percent last year, its best year since 2009. Americans, however, that means they're facing pain at the pump, rising pain at the pump, in uh, increase because of the increase in gas prices. Today's national average three dollars and twenty nine cents a gallon. And will we see four bucks a gallon on average this year? Joining me now, gas buddy head of petroleum analysis, Patrick DeHaan. Patrick, where is gas going to peak? At what price and when? Well, Dagan, I think that we certainly could see that national average hit four dollars a gallon at some time in a April to May time frame. That's usually when we have culmination of factors leading to higher prices. Of course, it'll be a switch over back to summer gasoline, rising demand as we continue to recover from Omicron. Uh, certainly, we could get there this year. Ken Mahoney, jump in. So it's amazing. We've gone from energy independent to energy dependent in about like 12 minutes, okay? Uh, and Glasgow, not a good look. You go there to talk about renewables, and 24 hours later, you're asking OPEC members, who hate us, by the way, to pump on more supply. I mean, this is kind of the strategy right here. It feels like it's such a, I don't know, it's like a foreign tax to consumers. I mean, at, at the end of the day, our technology's not there yet, right? I mean, for renewables. So it's everything we've done is done in haste. Like this this two-year window before midterm elections, you know, in and out of Afghanistan quickly, you know, from fossil fuels to renewables very quickly. Um, what is your take on, like, increasing supplies? Again, we know we can do it. We know it could be in the energy independent by turning on some of these pipelines. What do you see it's going to hit? I mean, if it's going to hit four fifty, dollars let's say $4.50, do you think that would actually make the administration look at some of these supply chains that we have inherently in our own country? Well, when it comes to pipeline capacity, we're already seeing existing pipelines. There was a pipeline boom here in the last decade, and a lot of existing pipelines aren't being utilized. The problem, as you point out, is simply oil production. Now, OPEC is meeting, uh, will likely uh, agree to increase production by a further 400,000 barrels a day, as it's been doing every month since July. But OPEC is starting to near the point where they're running out of spare capacity. So as consumers continue to get back out and get back to normal, we see pent-up demand for gasoline. That is the likelihood behind why oil prices could go up to triple digits temporarily, which would then attract additional oil supply by the latter half of 2022. I think 2022 will feature a front end loaded year in which gas prices are much higher in the first half before we start to see some relief in the second half. But still, that could take some states like California over $5 a gallon, and it could begin uh, to have most states rival their 2008 record highs in the low $4 range. And what about the pass through of these higher energy prices to, again, it feeds into inflation. Higher prices for transport means higher prices of end goods. Oh, absolutely. I mean, energy is a big component in, uh, in where we're going with inflation. And so if, if these energy prices don't get back under control, you look at natural gas, you look at oil, uh, we're going to continue to see it contribute to an overall rise in inflation. I think that's going to be the hard part. We probably will continue to see the CPI go up on high energy prices until we start to see some relief in the price of oil, which could happen later this year as the high prices we're anticipating will eventually lead to additional production by the end of next year. What about additional production here in the United States, Patrick? Because the, the Biden administration did everything that they possibly could to discourage that. Well, absolutely, they did. I think they've, they've realized part of their mistake with uh, the Department of Interior actually releasing more permits in Biden's first year than Trump. So I think they've backwalked a lot of, of what Biden had come in strong arming the market early on. And they're kind of learning that there are ramifications to the optics that the president has presented or did present. And I would look for a, a slow undoing uh, of some of those policies as we progress with high energy prices. The president realizes that he's going to have to loosen his tone. Patrick DeHaan, thank you so much. I guess $4 a gallon with the record high for the, the national average was 411 in July of 2008, right? That's right. And we're going to get very close. We could even breach that this year. I shake my head. Saw it coming. We've seen it coming for a, a year now. Patrick, thank you so much. Thanks, Happy Dagan. New Year.